realizes how different his life is, how varied his path has been compared to if he had just been a shepherd. So this is just one of the many benefits of following your true path. Maybe your path will change as you walk along it. Maybe it will become something else that you discovered while searching for your true purpose. Something that would have never occurred to you had you stayed where you were. It's always better to have options than to feel stuck, right? You may start out searching for one thing and realize along the way that it's something else completely that fills your heart with the biggest sense of purpose. But if you don't follow that initial path, if you don't get going, you may never, ever see the potential. I realize all of this is very scary. I realize it is extremely difficult to start over and forge a new path with no guarantees. This was thrust upon me. I lost a job that I loved. I felt I was treated pretty unfairly in that situation. That was my opinion. And part of the reason I chose this route is so that I can be the one in charge. It's all up to me whether this business works or if it doesn't. I want to get my message across in a way that I want to say it and not have anyone interfere with it. It doesn't mean this was my only option. I could have looked for another radio job. I could have looked for a writing job. I could have gotten any old job to pay the bills. But I decided all of the pieces seemed to come together at the same time to spread my message in the best way I know how and hope it will take off. It has and it hasn't. I feel like people are receiving my message I feel like people are liking my message. I'm hoping that people will share the fact that they like my message. But I still need to figure out a way to actually make a little money at this. I am living my best life right now. No doubt about it. I'm playing by my rules. But, you know, got to start making some money at some point. Uh, So if the money doesn't follow soon, it may be time for a reassessment. Put it that way. My path wasn't completely known to me at first. It still isn't. But I'm figuring it out as I go. I have the privilege to take some time, a little time, to figure this out before money becomes the top priority. But as I go down this path where there are forks in the road, I have to decide which ones to take or to stay the course. My initial idea to make money was via the podcast. And that may hopefully be the case someday, but it seems to be pretty far off at this point. Meanwhile, I made the decision to go to a business conference with my girl, Ray Ray Hollis. And that really helped me figure out some different ways to generate money while staying on the path, but just taking a little bit of a different route. Hence, my attempt at speaking events. By the way, speaking this Saturday, February 2nd, uh, excuse me, February 1st at 2 p.m. If you would like to join me, please feel free to drop me a note on the Hopefulist page. Uh, So if all goes planned, I will be bringing in money soon as a speaker as well as spreading my message to more people and building my brand at the same time. I have met people along the way that have helped me do things I never thought I could do, encouraged me to try things I've never tried, to consider things that I may not have ever done before. My point is... You don't have to have all the answers right now. You do have to map out a path. You do have to know where you are going. But sometimes you just have to take that first step. Just get down to the doing. Start somewhere and start now. But I know that you will discover more and more as you go down the path. Things will unveil themselves to you. Options will come up. And you have to decide if this is something that will help you get to where you want to go. Is it easy? Oh, shell no. That's my new phrase. Have you noticed? You will be taking a chance. In fact, I can almost guarantee you will fail at times. But when you do, how fast can you get back up and learn from that mistake? Will you ultimately fail? Well, that's really up to you. Will you feel fear? Of course scary. We're talking about your life. But another thing they discuss in The Alchemist is the only thing that a dream makes a dream impossible to achieve is the fear of failure. I'm going to say that again. The only thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve is the fear of failure. 
because you don't go at it whole hog. You don't go at it full force. You hold back because you're afraid. Now, the boy asked the alchemist, but what if I die trying to find my personal legend? And his response is, at least you died trying, which is more than most people can say. I've talked about this just recently. I feel very fulfilled in my life right now. I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, hence my purpose. And I'm not afraid to die like I have felt in the past because I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm feeling fulfilled. I'm feeling a sense of purpose. Do not misunderstand me. I do not want to die. But I know that a statement like that seems very bold and very um, cynical. What if I die trying? At least you died trying, which is more than most people can say. I'm telling you, when you're doing what you're truly meant to do, you just feel different inside. So keep at it. Don't give up. Not ever. But be smart about it. Educate yourself on what you need to know in order to get where you want to go. But you are the one in charge. And you are the one who has to make these choices. As we discussed yesterday, we instinctively know the right answer if we quiet ourselves enough to find it. It is I Wish You Were Cocktail Friday, Thursday. One more day, people. Uh, just one more day. So work up those badass muscles today and start down your true path and make today your best day yet. Thank you for listening to The Hopeless, hosted by Wendy McClure. For more inspiration, please visit hopefulist.com. Thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow on The Hopefulist. I may die trying to get on Ellen's show, but Ellen, have us on your show!